Imagine a place, a quiet place, away from the sights and sounds of the busy city, where instead of the roar of traffic, you hear only the enchanting sounds of the sea. Picture yourself in just such a place, on a broad expanse of clean, bright sand that stretches as far as the eye can see in both directions. Imagine fiery sunsets, glistening water, and cool ocean breezes. Well, imagine no more. This is South Shore in Newport, Oregon. Here, with more than half a mile of unspoiled, uncrowded beach at your doorstep, you will enjoy living within the newest and most thoughtfully conceived residential community on the Oregon coast. Planned are exciting beachfront townhomes, condominiums, and custom single-family lots which will provide homeowners with dramatic whitewater views. Cottages, surrounded by colorful gardens and white picket fences, will be clustered along gently curving streets in a series of small but distinctive neighborhoods. A seaside inn, designed in the classic Northwest tradition, will also overlook the incomparable scenic vistas, while nearby, a collection of shops, stores, and galleries border a spacious village green. Both indoor and outdoor recreational facilities and an extensive program of environmental enhancements will all help to make South Shore a complete and balanced community. South Shore is strategically located on the central Oregon coast and is equally convenient to most of the state's major population centers. Less than two miles south of Newport's Yakuna Bay on scenic Highway 101, it lies in the heart of some of the most appealing beachside and recreational areas in the Pacific Northwest. Because of its location and its diversity, the site is truly unique. It is bordered on the north by the beautiful South Beach State Park, on the east by Oregon Coast Highway 101, on the south by existing residential neighborhoods, and on the west by wide sandy beaches and the blue Pacific beyond. The land which adjoins the beach is relatively flat and is protected by grass-covered sand dunes. To the north, a large grove of trees surrounds a seasonal wetland. A somewhat smaller wetland area lies within the southern portion of the site. Neither the dunes nor the areas designated as wetlands will be developed. More than half the land will be left in its natural state. Entry to the oceanfront village will be off Coast Highway 101. Distinctive gatehouses will flank the entry drive and will welcome both residents and guests. Their size and scale, together with the use of river rock, cedar lap siding, multi-paned windows, and shingled rooftops will create a definite sense of arrival. The dramatic entry drive curves through a heavily landscaped parkway, passing the impressive recreation center and cottages nestled among the trees. It ultimately arrives at the village green with the seaside inn beyond. Homes and townhomes will be located in a premier beachfront setting with spectacular oceanfront view opportunities. Each of the buildings has been classically designed to resemble a stately oceanfront manor, and a variety of exterior elevations help create individuality and interest both to the beachfront and the interior streetscape. These homes will be built with the owner's comfort as our primary criterion, featuring spacious great rooms, creative kitchens with separate dining areas, and master bedroom suites with reading nooks and large walk-in closets. All of the major living areas will have spectacular views. The cottages are equally exciting. Inspiration for their design was drawn from some of the quaint New England villages along the eastern seaboard. And while their timeless charm is evident, their architectural theme is definitely one of the Northwest. 
Both one- and two-story models will be offered in a variety of exterior elevations. Notice the exterior detailing and trim work. Some will even have room for a front porch swing. Landscaping will include lots of white picket fences, graceful arbors and climbing roses. In addition to the variety of housing types and styles planned in the first phases of development, a limited number of large custom lots will be available in low bank oceanfront settings. The inn at South Shore will cater to the needs of travelers and visitors. Its large oceanfront rooms and restaurant, its conferencing facilities, and its style are designed to pleasantly complement the oceanfront village. Its architectural character will be reminiscent of those built near the turn of the century, with shingled gambrel roof, charming entry lobby, dormers, and distinctive cupolas. All these elements add visual interest while creating a sense of gracious warmth, qualities usually associated with another time, another era. Residents of South Shore, guests at the inn, and visitors to the village will all enjoy the village square, the new village gathering place. The shops and boutiques which adjoin the village green will include a variety of businesses such as bookstores, art galleries, restaurants, general store, and workshops featuring the work of local artists. The South Shore Recreation Center is also located nearby. Facilities will be extensive, including tennis courts, a large indoor swimming pool and spa, and a well-equipped exercise room will also be meeting rooms and a magnificent fireplace lounge. The Oregon coast is like no other on the face of the earth. It is both tempestuous and serene. It is unrivaled in its diversity, unparalleled in its beauty, and unsurpassed in its ability to provide an irresistible lure to hundreds of thousands of visitors in every season of the year. And of all the special places on the Oregon coast, none, we believe, offers more than the Newport area, where the Yaquina River meets the sea. This growing community offers a wide range of housing types and styles, hotels, shopping, leisure time and recreational facilities, and one of the most fascinating harbors anywhere. Its waterfront is one of the most picturesque and is certainly one of the most photographed. Nearby there are beaches, exquisite coves, and historic landmarks. There is a public golf course and in the surrounding community are the stores, the theaters, and all the facilities needed to meet the day-to-day -day needs of the 9,000 year-round residents of the city. This is a community that places great importance upon its educational and cultural facilities. The Newport Performing Arts Center plays to sell out audiences. And at the nearby Visual Arts Center, local artists teach and are able to show their works in a museum setting. South of the bay, there is a new marina with boat slips and fishing charter services. Here, too, you will find the nationally known Oregon Aquarium and the adjoining Hatfield Marine Science Center. Each year, almost three-quarters of a million visitors will come here to observe, to learn, and to be entertained. The exhibits are both fascinating and beautiful and appeal to people of all ages and from every walk of life. Connecting Newport with the South Beach area is the beautiful Yaquina Bridge, its graceful arches towering over the harbor entrance. To cross this magnificent span is to pass through the gates of time to a place where the clocks seem to run a bit more slowly. When John Steinbeck wrote his acclaimed novel, Cannery Row, set in Monterey, California, he described a place which has since faded into history. But the spirit of that era is alive today in Newport. The fishing fleet, the fishermen, the canneries, all the color and the chaos remain, 
and may be observed from the docks or from a bayfront table at one of the many restaurants which offer sweeping views of the harbor. But the best of life on the Oregon coast is right here at South Shore. And we invite you to drop in at our visitor center at your first opportunity. Experience the magic and the mystical light of an Oregon sunset. Listen once again to the enchanting sounds of the sea. If you walk this magnificent shoreline in the early morning hours, you will probably be alone. Perhaps a gull will soar above you. And if you listen carefully, you may hear the whisper of the softly blowing sand. And after the sun goes down, the tides and the night wind will erase all traces of the previous day, so that tomorrow you may have the pleasure of making the first footprints in this sandy wilderness, or perhaps more importantly, to decide not to make them, and allow that privilege to remain with one of the native residents of this very special place, a place called South Shore.